I genuinely think the way Real Madrid play, the way Manchester City play, that um, the game's going to be similar. I think there's going to be a lot of goals again. The quality on show last week was was sensational. You know, it's one of the best games I've ever seen. Um, and to come to the Bernabeu tonight, um, it's going to be fantastic. Real Madrid will know their history in it, uh, but Manchester City will be desperate to get to the second final in two years. Now, because of what you're talking about, the style of both teams, that they want to both take the initiative and they have so much offensive firepower, we're thinking lots of goals. But do you feel that because there's so much at stake, maybe we'll see both of them being more measured or at least one of them try to be more measured? Um, I, I honestly don't think so. I think Real Madrid have to come out. You know, that there's still a goal behind, so they have to come out and at some point score. And I think that will suit Manchester City. We all know Pep Guardiola's teams. Uh, they, they only play in one way. You know, that's keeping possession. Um, fantastic players, fantastic attacking players going forward. So I don't. Manchester City certainly won't change, but I think Real Madrid, from their point of view, they're going to have to come after City, and I think that will suit Manchester City right down to the ground. Now, in terms of Madrid going off to City, Kyle Walker might be a massive boost to have back in the lineup. What difference would he make to City in terms of keeping Real at bay and also? ensuring their own attack still prospers. Yeah, absolutely. And, and Kyle's he's one of the quickest defenders, if not the quickest defender in, in European football. And um, we've seen last week Vinicius Junior with the pace that he's got and the goal that he scored and it's going to be a real threat. But hopefully Kyle's fit. He's a big, big part of how Manchester City play. The experience he's got as well, you know, he's he's been here, seen it, done it before, big occasion in the Bernabeu. And what it does do as well, it allows Joe Cancelo to go over to, to left back and that gives you an, another attacking sense there. So hopefully Kyle's fit tonight. If not, Joe Cancelo play right back and I'll Alexander Zinchenko, who's been outstanding in recent weeks as well. So hopefully Kyle's fit, but if he's not, there's still enough quality in that Manchester City side. Now, I don't think there'll be many arguments if we say Manchester City as a collective are a better team than Real Madrid. They're, they have been favourites for this tournament on the verge of a second consecutive final. Do you think there might be a little bit of a psychological edge in the fact that they've won their last three Champions League fixtures against Real? Or do you think... The home side will actually count on the crowd to sort of make it an atmosphere City can't deal with. I think depending on what edge of the fence you sit on, you know, if you're Manchester City, you will look and say, look, the last three times I've played Madrid, we've got the better of them. You know, if you are Real Madrid, you'll be looking at their history, the experience they've got in the competition, and obviously having the fans behind them. So, but I just I don't think Manchester City will be thinking about the games that they've played previously or even last season, two seasons ago when we beat them over two legs. Um, they'll be looking at tonight's game as they always do, as Liverpool do. You know, it's one game at a time. I know it's boring and people don't like to see it. But that's why these two teams are at the very top of their game because they don't look too far ahead. They concentrate fully on, on, on what's what's happening now. Um, and Manchester City, having the experience as well of getting through to that first final last year, I think that's going to really spur them on tonight. In terms of your history as a forward, the very best in operation we'll see tonight, Karim Benzema, who has been the architect of actually getting Madrid this far, getting them out of very tight corners. How has his game developed in your eyes and how best can City stop him? Um, I think to stop Karim Benzema, you have to first and foremost stop the service into him, which is going to be difficult when you've got Luka Modric and you've got Tony Cruz, Vinicius Junior have already spoke about. But not just over the last couple of months, you know, Karim Benzema for me has been one of the best strikers in the world for a long, long time as well. You know, and he just seems to have got better with age. I think he's tailored his game a little bit. He plays more in between the boxes now. You know, when he was a bit younger, he would run the channels, make a lot more movement. But he's he's just lethal. You know, he had one chance last week in open play. Before you know it, it's Man, um, Real Madrid are back in the game. And then the penalty, you know, he's missed his two previous penalties. And then to go up and, and dink it, it just shows you the confidence. And the confidence he's got his own, and his own ability and the talent that he's got as well. So he's, he's going to be a huge threat tonight. But like Manchester City, that Real Madrid have got threats all over the pitch. Such a game on edge, but are you expecting another All English Champions League final? I am, honestly. I'm, it's not because I've got my blue tinted glasses on either. You know, I'm super, super confident about Manchester City tonight. I was at the Etihad last week, and as much as Real Madrid get the three goals, you know, Manchester City were, for the majority of that game, were dominant, you know, and, and really should have been out of sight by now, the chances they missed in the first half, and expect it to be the same tonight.